Hey folks, Derek Pierce here from TrafficDiesel.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to uncover the right niches with the proper keyword research and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm able to find hot markets that I go after with my SEO campaigns. Now I've had a lot of people ask me to do this video and they want to know what kind of tools and everything that I use so I decided to go ahead and start this, uh, this video series so this is going to be the first part of uh, several videos that I do regarding just finding the right niches and this is an extremely important part to uh, to making money online and to getting your getting your sites ranked um, and it's something that I really dropped the ball on early on in my career I was going after the wrong niches I was going after um, uh, keywords that had way too much competition or they wasn't getting enough search volume. So before we do any kind of re, before we do any kind of SEO, before we build any kind of websites, before we do anything, we got to do the proper research. And there's a few things that we're looking at here whenever we're doing this research. So the first thing that we want to look at is the number of searches. We want to be sure that our keywords and the niches that we're going after have got adequate search volume. And you'll have to excuse my handwriting here with this pen tool. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do but you should be able to get the uh, the gist of what I'm, I'm doing here so first thing we want to look at is is the search volume we want to be sure that we're getting adequate number of searches early on I went after keywords that had very little to no search volume I thought well I would if I'm searching for it there gotta be other people you want to be sure and nail down that the niche or the keyword that you're going after has got the, the good enough search volume and I'll go into that here in just a second the next thing that I want to look at is once I see the keywords that have got search volume is I want to look at the number of competition or the number of competing pages. So we don't want to just get and just look at the ones that have got like a lot of search volume because a lot of those are going to have just a, a gigantic amount of competition. So we want to be sure that we're looking at the number of competing pages and what we want to what would be ideal is we find uh, a keyword that has got a lot of search volume with a uh, little competition so then specifically I look at the top 10 I want to look at the top 10 rankings and I want to see what those people are doing why are they why are they in the top 10 success leaves clues and it's, it's especially true with Google those people are ranking in the top 10 for a reason and so I want to look at what they've done with their websites I want to look at what they've done to get to the top 10 and I want to specifically look at I want to look at how old the domains are that's in the top 10 so I'm, I'm looking at the domain age and I want to look at the amount of indexed content how much content they're actually getting indexed on the web and then I want to look at the number of backlinks so I'm gonna put BL for backlinks backlinks are still the primary driver to getting ranked in the top of the search engines and, and getting ranked in Google and they put a, a that's a that's a major factor in getting uh, in the first position so I want to look at these three things within the top 10 and I want to see if it's something that I think that I can go after and I can tackle and the tool that I happen to use, I, and I've tested all kinds of tools and I've not found anything better, is Market Samurai. I use this thing every single day and it does everything that I'm looking for when it comes to finding the keyword, uh, the keywords that I'm going after and looking at the competition level and doing all my SEO research. So I highly recommend that Market Samurai program and I'll put a link below this video if you're watching it on YouTube there will be a link below the video if you're on my blog at Traffic Diesel then there will be a link below the video there as well. Uh, you get a free trial, put it to the test but I want to show you how I'm actually using this particular software to go after different niches. So I'm going to pause the video and when I come back we'll jump right into Market Samurai. All right, we're back here, and we're we are actually inside Market Samurai, and this is what you look at whenever you first uh, open up the program. And what you do is you enter your keyword that you are wanting to go after. So I'm just going to enter a test keyword in this box right here, and you simply click update. And then once you do that, you are given this screen here where you can uh, monitor your sites with the rank tracker icon. Um, you, you can look at the SEO competition. There's a monetization side to Market Samurai. Um, very rarely do I use the monetization, and I rarely use the published content. I mainly use Market Samurai for keyword research as my, as my rank tracker and my SEO competition. Those are the three things 
that I look for or that I use Market Samurai for. So what I do to start with is when we first enter this keyword, like we just entered this test keyword right here, we want to go to keyword research. And once we do that, we're going to be given this different screen here. And what you do is all you have to do is just click generate keywords. If you enter your uh, Google uh, account up here, then this will generate somewhere up to, I think, 800 keywords or something along those lines. Um, so you click generate keywords and this all will be filled up. Now I'm going to X off of this keyword right here because I've already done this and I did this for a keyword um, for, for a niche that I noticed the other day. I, I have some sites that are in the fitness niche and I was looking at different keywords relating to uh, losing your butt and uh, you know getting getting a thin waist and all these different keywords in the fitness niche and I come across that there are people doing searches for how to get bigger butts and uh, so I thought I would use this as kind of a comical example for uh, for the the bigger butt niche and I actually set up a website for this and right now it's floating on page one and page two right now so um, anyway uh, the, the bigger button niche there there are a there's a niche of people out there that are looking for how to get bigger butts and so what we do once we get our keyword in here again we click the generate keywords and like I said I've already done that and you can see this generated 144 keywords and you can see best exercise for your bum best exercises for buttocks best exercises for the buttocks there's a lot of different keywords in here and uh, this gives us a good range now what I can do here is if there's a like a lot of stuff that's not related to my particular keyword because a lot of times you'll see this instead of 144 keywords this will generate like 800 keywords and some of the some of them won't be um, relate as as related to your keyword as you would like for them to be what you can do is you can uh, you can click like let's say for example I want to narrow this down to all the keywords that have the 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 keyword exercises in there okay so you can see right here breast exercises has nothing to do with bigger butts so what I can do is I can click right here where it says exercises and this is going to filter out all the keywords that have exercises in the in this list of keywords so once I do I click exercises and I go over here to this little green check mark and I click it and you can see it took 144 keyword or 141 144 keywords whatever it was we just had and now it's filtered it down to 41 so all these have the term exercises in our keywords now if I want to go back to my initial list all I have to do is click the clear button and then we are back to our original list of keywords now I've already done uh, again I've already generated these keywords and so I also have already done the keyword analysis but I want to show you this button right here this is once we generate these list of keywords the next tab that we go to is we click right here where it says keyword analysis in the bottom right hand corner we click that button right there and then this is gonna pull up all the data that we are looking for and let me uh, let me just kind of sort this here for you I'm actually going to uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back to keyword generation and I'm gonna I'm gonna click the bigger the bigger but uh, the bigger keyword right there and I'm gonna filter all these out because we don't need all of these keywords I don't think so I'm gonna go back to keyword analysis and you can see the uh, when we're looking at this we've got these uh, we've got these tabs we've got the searches and then this this is the total number of searches that the keywords have okay and then this is the estimated traffic that you'll get because just because you get a number one position doesn't mean you're gonna get all the clicks there's only an estimated of between 40 and 50 percent of the clicks uh, people click on the first the first um, the first position so then there's this phrase to broad ratio and we'll talk a little bit more about phrase match broad match and exact match here in just a second then there's the SEO C this is the SEO competition this is the number of competing web pages with the with your keyword okay then there's the trends tab then there's the AdWords call uh, cost per click I don't pay as much attention 
to the AdWords value or the SEO value um, these last two columns I don't really look at those I look at mainly I look at the trends I look at the competition I look at the SEO searches and the um, SEO traffic the estimation of my traffic that's the that's the main four tabs that I'm looking at now whenever you look at this and you see uh, when you first open this up more than likely it's going to be on what's called broad a broad match so whenever you open this up and you click keyword uh, when you when you click to analyze the keywords which is this button right here when you click analyze keywords what I do is I want to make sure all these are, are checked the total searches I want to make sure all these right here are checked and I want to make sure my competition is checked too and I check these right here but even though I don't look at them as much as I used to I still I still check these so what I do is once you get in here you've got uh, the match type which is going to be default it's going to be set to broad and then your period is I think the default is set to daily and then I think the default you have a golden rule here too so I always put this to no filters that's the first thing I do I click no filters because I don't want to filter any of these out right now and um, on the match type uh, it's again it's set to default as broad now what broad for, uh, what broad match is with your keywords it's really it's really not an accurate number at all and I highly recommend that you don't use broad match because uh, when you're looking at these keywords broad match can include in uh, the synonyms or it can include you know different different colors if, you, if you're you know typing in a color of something that, that you're looking for in the keyword it can it can also have other words added to it so broad is just mentioning basically these keywords are synonyms of what Google recognizes these keywords to have synonyms of so it's not a real accurate um, accurate number for your keyword so I would highly recommend that you don't look at the broad match type you can see when we look at broad match the term bigger butt has 4438 searches every single day that's a broad match alright now watch what happens when we convert this back to phrase and then an exact match now when you look at phrase phrase is actually it's going to include this exact phrase the bigger butt phrase in it but now that can also include other words in addition to that so in in this case bigger butt it would uh, the phrase match has 891 searches a day but this could this could be this could not be the keyword that's being searched it could be like bigger butt exercises or it could be how to get a bigger butt basically a phrase match is just saying that these keywords are in this particular phrase and there could be words added to that I hope that makes sense to you but it's a huge difference between uh, broad and then phrase and then which is what I look at which is the exact match so what's this number what's the bigger butt number here what's what it does whenever I go to the exact match and you're gonna see bigger butt goes down to 43 searches a day so when we had broad match notice it was 4438 so you want to be sure that you're looking at these um, and, and looking at the exact match type so you'll know exactly what you're getting into when you're looking at one of these particular niches so when we look at this I'm gonna sort the searches I'm gonna sort it to where I can see the the uh, most searched terms you can see that bigger butt is not the most searched for term and it actually even though it's it's not searched for as much it has more competing pages look at this so the term how to get a bigger buttocks is searched for 145 145 searches per day exact match searches per day and there's only 62,900 competing pages this is a niche that I would seriously look at going after because there's not a whole lot of competition there's only 60,000 competing pages and there's actually 145 searches uh, per day so what I look at I want to focus on getting uh, keywords that have a minimum of a hundred for my primary keyword I want a minimum of a hundred exact searches per day now when you add all these up like the, the your secondary keywords which would be how to make your buttocks bigger uh, that's got 79 searches and you see even less competing pages for that particular term and then you've got how to get a bigger buttocks fast you know you've got 
29 there's another 29 searches there's uh, how to get your buttocks bigger naturally you know you've got all these secondary keywords so you're gonna this actually is searched for quite a bit but um, you want to your, your primary keyword in this case would be for me would be how to get a bigger buttocks which has 145 exact searches and only 62,900 competing pages something else I want to take a look at is the trends you can look at and see what trends are happening with the particular um, keyword so you know if you're uh, if you're look if you're following this you can see in January the search volume was way down and it's been way down up until uh, up until you know June and um, last year last year in July you see a lot more search volume for this particular keyword and it looks like from July through like November October November time frame there's a lot more searches for this particular keyword so this is a good indicator to see what kind of trends there are you know if it's a seasonal product or anything like that you want to be sure that uh, you're on top of what's going on in the trends because you don't want to get in um, you don't want to be thinking like hey you're gonna be making money over the next couple of months when in all reality you're you know you're getting out of the the season or getting out of the, the what the trends are, are showing you this this is worth a lot right here just being able to see these these trend factors so like for example uh, if you if you're doing searches for things like video games or things like that and uh, in video game systems you'll notice and and even um, even big screen TVs like December and January the search volumes well for for video game systems December is the search volume is, is way higher than any other month and for big screen TVs in, Jan in, in in December and in January, the search volume is way higher because you've got uh, people are looking for Christmas and they're also looking uh, for a lot of people buy uh, big screen TVs to to watch the Super Bowl and whatnot. So you'll see those uh, those trends come in real handy for um, uh, for you know trying to monetize your SEO campaigns at the right particular time. Now, so the SEO competing pages is not the only thing we look at we want to dive deeper into that we want to look at what the top 10 looks like so what I do then at that point is I pick the keywords that I want and I just click this little key right here and I click on that and then you're gonna see up here on the tab it's gonna show up now this is a, a keyword that we're going to that, that we have a new tab for so now that we have our primary keyword we're going to dive even further and that's what I'm going to be covering in the next video uh, as part of this video series as we're going to take a look at the SEO competition and we're going to dive even further into the keyword research so uh, again market samurai I highly recommend it if you're if you don't have it yet I highly recommend that you check it out and get the free trial and put it to the test um, it's hands down the best uh, software that I've seen for mapping out the proper keywords and getting the right niches so anyway look for uh, the second part of this video and sign up for more updates tips at trafficdiesel.com this is Derek Pierce take care and I'll see you in video number two